All right, good morning, good morning. We are the Out of Bounds Show on ESPN 105.9 The Zone. We hope you're doing well. Thanks for making us your SEC football show of choice as players report around the league. That's exciting. And they get ready for voluntary workouts um, next Monday. But uh, a lot to do on the campuses in Startville and Oxford and all around the SEC West and SEC East. But it's exciting to know that the uh, student athletes are on campus and that we're getting closer to playing some football, hopefully on time, but definitely at some point. The SEC Insider Hit this morning is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance and favorites.com. Bundle your auto and home and save with your local Farm Bureau Insurance agent working for you in all 82 counties in the great state of Mississippi. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. We are going to go to the Coors Light guest line. We're going to welcome in MSU defensive coordinator Zach Arnett, who made the move from San Diego State to uh, Starkville, Mississippi. Coach, good morning. Welcome in. Good morning, sir. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Uh, are you in Starkville? I am, yeah. I'm sitting in my office right now. All right. Well, uh, welcome to Mississippi. Oh, thank you very much. I forgot how nice it is to be able to sit down and look out over the football fields here from SEAL building here, you know, a couple months being away from it. This is nice. No doubt. I know I know you guys, all of the coaches in the league, are chomping at the bit to get back into uh, a schedule and a, and a routine. Let me ask you this. Uh, so Mike Leach is known for his offense, right? I mean, everywhere he goes, they throw up these prolific, record-breaking numbers. Um, he's done it at, at Valdosta and Kentucky and Oklahoma and Texas Tech, Washington State, and so on. And everybody always asks the question, well, are they going to play any defense? So now, you know, you're head of that unit. And what was it like as you were having conversations? And was that a concern knowing that, you know, you weren't sure if it was going to line up that you were going to be able to maybe uh, do what you wanted on defense considering what they do with the air raid, Coach? No, yeah. I'd say there's a couple of things in there, I guess. One, I sure hope we play some defense, or else we'll be talking to a different, different D coordinator <laughs> here sooner or later. Uh, but no, I, actually, I thought the decision was really easy. You know, in, in my discussions with Coach Leach about what he values in a football program and what he thinks are most important to a team being successful, uh, it's is what I'm used to. You know, you win games with by by playing harder than your opponent, by being tougher. Um, you know, obviously. It, the mind he has for scheme, I mean, it, obviously time time has proven it. He's one of the best offensive minds probably in the history of college football. But if you watch his teams play, it don't matter where you go back to, like you said, Valdosta, Texas Tech, kind of Washington State, they play extremely hard and with great effort. And in my opinion, that is what's forgotten a lot or not paid – it's fun to talk about the scheme and all that other stuff, but you know, typically good football teams, they are a team first, right? It's not offense and defense. They're a team, and they play with tremendous effort. And so, things that he developed within his program, you know, I, I want to be a part of. So, when that opportunity arose, I certainly jumped at it. He is Zach Arnett, defensive coordinator at MSU. He's joining us on the Coors Light guest line, year one under Mike Leach. And uh, they're off and running now towards the uh, 2020 season. The uh, the players are on campus. Team will get together, go through all the protocol, and uh, start working out in the next week. So how much have you had an opportunity to – have you watched a good bit of tape from last year? I mean, what's what's been your approach during all this weird downtime – that we've had, especially for, for college coaches. How have you approached knowing a little bit about what you have coming back? Yeah, obviously, us coach, we watched, we've watched the tape. Uh, 
I know with the linebackers, I even watched some of it just because since we didn't since we didn't get any spring practices, you know, eventually those guys get tired of watching other people. You know, they like to watch themselves. So I can only feel so much, in this case, San Diego State film before, you know, I understand those guys, they want they want to watch themselves some too. Uh, so we'd watch a little bit of the tape from them last year, and I'd talk to them, okay, this is how I would coach this, or this is what I would tell you, this is what you're going to be hearing from me. Um, so we watch both, but at the same time, and this would we talk to any coach on the staff, you don't want to only – watch the film and, and that's what you make all your decisions off of because, you know, this is a fresh start for everybody. We, we haven't been on the field with those guys and worked with them in person and, and got to see, you know, all the things that they can do they're capable of. So, you know, you almost don't want to just pour over the film of last year because it might, it may, it might give you a bad evaluation of a guy or the wrong evaluation of a guy. It's good point. That's all you, you know, you think about. So how would how long will it you know Leach has been on the coach Leach has been on the show and and his big thing is mm-hmm. you know it, it's not going to take him long even though it's usually offense takes longer than defense but but uh, he said you know it, it's not going to take me long to install the offense at MSU he said he'll need a week or so and that's about it and and evidently this whole air raid philosophy concept and offense is built on simplicity uh how and look you were under you played under and coached under a legendary defensive coach in rocky long um how long will it take you you think to install your defense how many practices or how many weeks i think you're gonna get the vast majority of you know what you do down, like Coach Week said, in a week, week and a half. Now, obviously, you know, there's maybe some special situations that come up within a game or a season that you have to, uh, you know, you can wait till later on to install, you know, a week before the first game or so because you just don't need as many reps at it because you're not going to find yourself in that situation that much throughout the course of a season. But just like he said, the, the vast majority of what you do, your, your bread and butter stuff, you're going to get that in within a week, a week and a half. And then the rest of your time is obviously spent getting as many reps as you can and perfecting, you know, so the players know exactly what you want them to do and how you want them to do it. You can watch the show on YouTube, search Out of Bounds Sports. We're visiting with Zach Arnett, new defensive coordinator for Mike Leach for Hale State. He joins us on the Coors Light guest line. This is ESPN 105.9 The Zone. How would you describe your defense? Philosophically and otherwise, how about that? Oh, I, no, I really do. I, every team is different. Every every collection of players you have is going to have different strengths and weaknesses. I'd like, I guess, if I had to say, you'd like to have enough versatility or multiplicity within the scheme that you can play to the strengths of the personnel, you know, your best 11 guys on the field. Obviously, there's been years uh, that we've been a blitz, Blitz a whole bunch, primarily a man-free team. One year later, they might be a rush four and play primarily zone coverage. Uh, there's a lot more that goes into it than just, hey, what does the other team do on offense? I mean, you have to think about how's the how's the flow of the game going. You know, are you are you scoring a bunch of points? And are you willing to you know let them move the, move the ball down the field, but it's going to eat up time? Or, you know, do you have to try to blitz and to stone them or create a big play? I mean, so I guess long-winded answer to your question, I would I would hope that there's enough flexibility and versatility within the scheme that we can be multiple and, and present some unique challenges, a lot of things for the opposing offense to prepare for. Okay. Zach Arnett, MSU DC. On ESPN 105.9 The Zone. How, not concerned, what kind of challenge will it be for you as far as pace of play, Coach? And what I mean by that is I don't think y'all moved it up and down the field quite like Lee. So if you if you know that, you know, you're going to have to face more plays, I, obviously you have to build more depth, I guess, in July and August, depending on if the NCAA gives y'all some extra practices, but um, 
have, have you thought about that as far as how many offensive plays Mike, Coach Leach, runs per game and how that could impact your defense? Oh, I hope we run. I hope we run hundreds. I've I've been in a game where a triple option army team ran like a hundred and something plays against us, and that means our offense only got off like thirty something. So <laughs> it'd be great if our offense ran a bunch of plays. They'll be on. They'll have the ball. Well, all right. Yeah, I didn't frame that up. Well. All right. Let me. Let <laughs> no, me. No, I, I know what you're saying. Malzahn, I know exactly. Kiffin, you I, know, I, Browles, Those guys are known as running north of seventy plays a game I didn't frame that up the right way so no 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 I know I know exactly what you're saying I we have a very I mean we have a really simple philosophy on that here at least on the defense side of the ball if the offense can go that fast and execute why can't we okay so that means you got to sub I mean if that means you got to sub a guy in because you're you're gassed and then, then so be it. I mean we rotate we rotate guys anyway because we want to be hopefully we're r- playing so hard and running the ball so hard that you know after a few plays you you are rotating in but you can spend a whole lot of time worrying about all that stuff, tempo and, and this and that. Frankly, they're able to get their 11 guys to line up and execute and go. If they're going to be able to do it that fast, we should be able to get our guys to do the same. Cool. Yeah, Coach saved me there. Thank you. Zach Arnett on the out of bounds. No, no, no. I, didn't pre- I, I was, <laughs> where I was going is you know year in, year out right now that Malzahn likes to run a bunch of plays. Kiffin loves and slash Levy likes to run a bunch of plays. And Browse loves Every to run. Every offensive guy in the world likes to run a bunch of plays. I mean, that's why they're offensive well, coaches. Right? True. Run plays. I, I guess, right. you know, we're not seeing as much huddling up, milking the clock, and so on. So these guys are rolling. And, and as you know, the number of plays has increased the last decade. And so it's just a whole new brand of football. No, uh, I mean, that's Offenses have done a great job of that. And obviously, it's just. You you alluded to it earlier, right? When Coach Leach's system, I mean, it's kind of one of the innovators. The more simple you keep it, the faster you can communicate the call in and out and get lined up and do it because you have a million reps of it. And so it's forced it's forced defenses to do the same thing. Really, you know, you don't have these long winded play calls that take eight signals to to communicate. You right. Have to, you have to be able to get whole defenses communicated with one signal because that's what the offenses are doing. Credit to the offensive coaches and what and what they've done. Absolutely, um, Zach Arnett on the Out of Bounds Show has coached under one of the the best defensive minds in the country the last twenty thirty years in college football. In Coach Rocky Long, Coach Zach Arnett joins us on the Coors Light guest line. He's the new DC at MSU, and you're listening to ESPN one hundred five nine The Zone. You can also watch the show on YouTube. Search out of bounds sports. Blake, you've got a question for Coach Arnett. Yeah, Coach Blake Scott here. Uh, you obviously ran the three three five under Coach Long and at San Diego State, and that's typically a defense that's designed to utilize speed over size to match up with these kind of high powered offenses that you saw on the West Coast. Two questions: A, will that system formula work against the bigger body offenses in the SEC? And B, do you plan to? Kind of, I know versatility is the key to the three-three-five defense. You've already mentioned that, but do you plan to operate out of that base schematic and kind of rotate, adjust from there, or or are you coming with something new now that you're in the SEC? One, I would say, you don't need to ask me if the three-three-five will work against you know opponents in the SEC because it's it's already been proven, right? Joe Lee Dunn did it. He had some of the best defenses in the country running that that scheme here back probably when I was in, you know, middle school, maybe not even in, maybe not even in middle school, middle school yet. So that, that, that's been proven already. And the second thing, and this I learned from, from coach long, and I'm sure he would, you know, could point to previous coaches who he learned, but the goal, our goal is to get the best 11 players on the field, right? The places, the places I have been working for him, it was in the three three five. And it, I, I've told the players here that, and that, that's one of I guess the negatives of not having spring ball is after we after we get a chance to be on the field with these guys for a while and ex- evaluate exactly what they do best, and we get in the in the staff room and decide, hey, these are the best eleven players. These are the top twenty two, you know, a two deep. Okay then what are we on defense? 
maybe it is a four two five. Maybe it's a three three five. I think every every coach in the country, you're trying to get your best players on the field because that is going to give you the best chance to be successful. So again, where I've been, it has been the three three five. Ideally, or I, I would like to think that this roster, the roster is is going to fit that uh, pretty well. But we're going to get on the field. And we're going to evaluate. Okay, what exactly do we have? What do they do best? It's our job to put them in in those positions the most. And if, if it, for some reason that ends up being a four down front, then we're a four down front. Out of bounds, ESPN 105.9 The Zone, visiting with Zach Arnett, D.C. at MSU. He joins us on the Coors Light guest line. They're, they're now off and running toward the uh, 2020 football season. Players are on campus around the SEC. They'll go through all sorts of tests and protocol, and then, uh, boom, workouts go. And, and, again, we'll see if the NCAA allows, which I think they will, but uh, allows the teams to add some practices maybe in July before fall camp, quote-unquote, starts. Um, so tell me, you know, did you watch? Well, first of all, you're coaching on Saturday, so that's a different deal. <laughs> but, I mean, SEC is the best league in the land. And, and so that had to be exciting, I guess, when the phone rang from Coach Leach, one. Two, uh, what has been kind of your take on SEC football as you've been building up your career under Coach Long and watching the landscape of college football unfold the last 10 or so years? I, I know what you were getting ready to ask. You were getting ready to ask if I watched SEC football games every Saturday. And you're exactly right, I did. Because on, on the West Coast, when every game you're kicking off is at 7.30 or 8.30 p.m. at night, you got a whole bunch of time to kill on Saturday. So, yeah, you get the TV on in the background. And you're right, I did have on that the SEC game of the week. Yeah. Obviously, it's a, it's a tremendous league. I mean, it, it doesn't take any more. Look at the first round of the NFL draft that just happened a little while ago to know exactly the, the talent level of the players um, that this league has. So, yeah, it's, it's a tremendous opportunity. Well, uh, so MSU has, has been on a – this has somewhat been their golden era uh, of football, uh, Coach Arnett. They, uh, Mullen comes in. I think really the culture piece was the most important part of the deal for him. And he was really good at evaluating um, play and developing players. And even though Dan is very, very talented on the offensive side of the football and actually brought the program, quote-unquote, into the 21st century, because without boring you for – 10 minutes, they historically were not that good offensively. He really won on defense. One, have you picked up on that? And two, have you heard about kind of how MSU plays defense, the pride within the program? Because they've been pretty darn good, if not really good at times over the last 50, 60 years on defense, <laughs> much more so than offense. Have you heard about yeah, that, the physicality ago, the and players and so on? <laughs> Two years ago, they led the country in defense. You know, you got three first-round picks on that with Abram, Sweat, and uh, Simmons. Gosh dang it. No. Yeah, that's right, Jeffrey Simmons. So, anyway, I think one of the best things for me is Coach Tony Hughes being kept on staff. Um, you know, guys coaching every level of football here in the state of Mississippi. The, the knowledge and experience and he has has been invaluable to me. Just I, I could sit and talk with him all day about the history of Mississippi State football, the types of kids, you know, that that thrive coming here. Like you said, there's historically just been a culture of of defense and you know playing the game hard, loving to run around and, and go find something to hit. So uh yeah, you know, I can't thank him enough for for sharing that that wisdom and experience with me, and obviously it gets you really excited as a defensive coach to know that that the school you're at has a has a history of producing really talented football players on the defensive side of the ball. We'll wrap it up with one more question, Zach Arnett on the Out of Bounds Show. Blake, go ahead. Yeah, Coach, um, <clears throat> I understand what it's like to be kind of like a young, overachieving, up and comer and be uh, you know really good at your job. So, what do you say to people when you come <laughs> to the SEC as a young guy? at the defensive coordinator position, what do you say 
to people who say, well, you know, maybe he's not seasoned enough. Maybe he's not a griddled veteran enough for the SEC. I, I, I don't know if I'd say anything. I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> you know, all those people, if we can't stop a, if we can't stop a nosebleed, then I guess all those people are right. <laughs> if we play pretty good, then that's credit to the players. I mean, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't respond to that question at all. I like it. All right. So, Zach Arnett, D.C. at uh, Hale State under Mike Leach and uh, moves in from San Diego. So, now Coach Arnett gets to uh, gets to eat fried catfish and fried green tomatoes and uh, all the barbecue that we have and all the good food here in, uh, in Mississippi. You're in for a treat as far as uh, – as far as food, Coach. <laughs> yes, sir, I am. I, uh, what do they call it, COVID-19, probably for the pounds I've gained since, <laughs> yeah. since being, you know, stuck at home a little more than usual. But it's been it's been fantastic. The, the people have been as welcoming as they can be, and I've met some really great people and very fortunate to be down here. It's a great Co- community. Hey, Coach, thanks for your time. We'll do it again soon. And we appreciate it. Take care. Yes, sir. Thank you. Zach Arnett on the Out of Bounds Show, ESPN 105.9 The Zone, defensive coordinator at MSU. So what a uh, what a cool deal. Dude, he's intelligent. Thirty. Yes, he is. I mean, he knew he knew his stuff, man. That was good. Uh, let's see. Thirty three. Wow, he's thirty three years old, and he's the defensive coordinator at an SEC program. That's pretty cool. Thirty three. Yeah, and and killing the game like and. He's gone from one of the stalwarts of defense over the last 30 years to now going to an innovator of offense. I right. mean, when you think about the coaches he'll have coached for at 33 years old, that's two of the biggest names on either side of the ball. It's kind of impressive. So during our Nets nine seasons at San Diego State, Blake, uh, San Diego State was 81 and 38. Is that good? Yeah, I, okay. I think so. All right. They won three Mountain West Conference championships, played in a bowl game every year, and they won winning four of them. So there you go. Uh, That's incredible. Yeah, yeah. Look, and look, he's going to have his hands full. Look, when, as, as Dave Bartu told us now, with uh, so if you go Malzahn at Auburn, Kiffin Levy at Ole Miss, Riles at Arkansas, Sarkeesian at Bama, there's kind of a combo going on at LSU that we're not sure about. And then Jimbo, although whatever, at A and M, but still tough, tough, you know. And Kentucky has improved, and now they have Joey Gatewood from Auburn, and they're going to start yep. Gatewood at the quarterback position, who many people believe is a very, very talented dude. So we'll see. We appreciate Zach Arnett joining us on the Coors Light guest line. Hey guys, the show is brought to you by the new Surgery Center and Clinic. Mississippi Sports Medicine, Flowood Lakeland Drive. Any age, any sport, inju- any age, any sport, any injury. They've got you covered at Mississippi Sports Medicine and Orthopedic Center. Steve Robertson at 830.